Oh my gosh. Ooh. Ah! This is not a drill. Good news. I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> hey, scale of one to 10, a thousand and eleven. Oh, so I'm s The SOS task force in New Zealand has been mobilized. Hey there everybody, Chris here, welcome back to Wizard Way, and as you could probably tell from that intro, I got sick a couple weeks ago, and as I was recovering, I overdid it by doing a two hour live stream on my channel, if you missed that, links up there. After that live stream, I completely lost my voice, and it stayed lost for about four or five days, and of course, during that time period when I had zero voice, Niantic decided to drop the beta for Wizards Unite. So if you are down in New Zealand, you now have the beta for Wizards Unite and there's so much footage, it's so exciting. This is what's considered an open beta, an early access sort of beta where everybody's able to play the game. And at first we thought that we weren't able to share any live stream footage or any images, screenshots, nothing but we just got the word from Niantic that we're allowed to share these things. So there will be some content on the channel having to do with what we have learned from the New Zealand beta. It just has to be footage that's actually from New Zealand. No spoofing. We never want anybody to break terms of service, so please don't sideload the APK. We don't want anybody getting in trouble, and we certainly want all of this footage to be, like, legit. So that's definitely the big piece of news, that the beta is now available in New Zealand. This makes us think we might be getting a beta in Australia, maybe the UK, maybe the US. Typically they start with a small audience and they gradually make it bigger so that they can test out the game on a larger population and see if any new issues arise. Betas are all about making the game better so that when it comes to the official launch we will have as few problems as possible. So if you haven't already, definitely go and pre-register for the game on either the App Store or the Google Play Store. We want to get as many people registered as possible. It means more people might be pulled for the beta and that means improving the game before it actually comes out live. But Niantic's been pulling a bit of a fast one on us lately. They've been releasing information at strange times of day, and it's like a big old wrench has been thrown in everything, and we don't know what's going on. When all that information dropped on March 11th, that was one of the numbers that was teased in one of the teaser trailers, and the April date was kind of like that too, and so now all of us WooTubers are just like, we must analyze all the videos again! It's like, what did we miss? Is there another secret date in there that we're like not understanding? So everybody's really excited and trying to reanalyze everything. And we're gonna have a grand old time just trying to figure out what's in Niantic's heads and where we're gonna go next. Hey, so case in point, as I'm editing this video, apparently emails were sent out not only to New Zealand players, but also Australian players. Niantic's doing something weird because it says that the beta is available in Australia, but if you check your stores at the filming of this, it's not in the stores yet in Australia. So we're not sure exactly what's going on there, but it might be that Niantic sent the email to Australia and New Zealand Back with Pokemon Go, they were given the beta together, so perhaps things were sent out to both countries by mistake. But this could also mean that the beta might be coming live in Australia very, very soon. So definitely follow me on social media. I'll probably be tweeting about this before I'm able to make another video. Hopefully we have more news soon. But until then, back to the video. But as you guys can see, my voice has now returned. It's still a little bit rough, but I'm definitely able to make videos again. So I'm gonna be working on that over the next few days. Hopefully get some new content on the channel in the next week or so. So I can finally share my verbal excitement with my fellow WooTubers, unlike in the intro. Ah, I'm so excited. This is gonna be a really great game and it looks really promising just all the little details and various things that you can do in the game. 
There's a lot that you can do, a lot that will keep you busy from daily tasks to filling out your skill trees to using portmanteau. I mean, that's really such a cool concept. After kind of incubating them like eggs, we get to open these portmanteau and get to transport ourselves into the wizarding world. This is like a dream come true for so many people. So there is a lot to look forward to, and I'm definitely going to be taking a closer look at some of the footage that came out of New Zealand so that I can share some accurate information with you guys and hopefully get you a little bit prepped for either the beta coming to the United States and elsewhere in the world, or the actual release, because we don't even know how long this beta is going to last. It could be a couple weeks in New Zealand and then go live everywhere. We have no clue. You can still reserve your name in Wizards Unite if you have not done so. If you have a Pokemon Go or Ingress account, definitely check out the link in order to do that. The name snatching ends on April 30th, so will something happen on May 1st? We're gonna have to wait and find out. Until then, you guys take care, and I will see you next time on the channel. Nox.